Greetings, wise ones. This is Melissa from Ape House Wisdom. I am here with a video about the first quarter moon in Sagittarius, which will be bringing us good luck for our harvest full moon manifesting, which is happening on September 10th, 2022. If you want to know more about how to leverage the power of the first quarter moon in Sagittarius and apply the lunar wisdom formula for a big reaping this year. Stay tuned for the rest of the content. As someone who is a professional astrologer and an avid moon watcher, the moon is my baby. We are in a very significant moon cycle because we are in the cycle that marks not only the harvest moon, but the lunation cycle that happens just prior to the autumn equinox in the northern hemisphere or the spring equinox in the southern hemisphere. And the harvest moon in particular is a term given to the moon, again, closest to that date. Sometimes the harvest moon occurs in September, sometimes in October. This year, it's happening September 10th. Um, and the first quarter moon in Sagittarius is one week away from that astral event. It gives us an opportunity after the Virgo new moon that happened on August 27th to check in on the intentions that we set in the dark while the new moon was invisible in the sky. And because we are in the waxing cycle or the growing of the moon's light, a week in gives us enough visibility to check in and see where we're at with our intentions to feel into how they've solidified and then to really take the opportunity to galvanize our efforts and commit even further to digging in and putting forth energy to manifest because this is also the last week prior to the full moon or full lunation and light. This is one of the ways that we manifest through the moon. We follow the quality and the density and the amount of light in the moon and we nurture our ideas similarly to the growth of the moonlight as we approach full status. Remember that the moon is a feminine body in the sky, so this soft feminine light really can allow us to orient ourselves and make decisions so that we can take the most appropriate actions. However, because this is feminine energy, orienting ourselves and making decisions must come from the body, right? This is something that must come from the neck down, something where we feel into the space rather than think into it. That is ever so important when we move into trying to apply the lunar wisdom formula. 
looking at these particulars. First quarter moon always happened during the waxing phase of the lunar cycle. They're when you want to be focused on taking inspired action and moving with a level of certainty. They mark the halfway point in between the first 14 days of the waxing phase. And the first quarter moon phase, just like the last quarter moon phase, literally only lasts a day. So it's a very powerful and potent energetic signature, but it is also something that moves very quickly, just like the moon in general. What you want to do in the week coming up is to really feel into your new moon intentions to see your comfort level and how they fit with your life. Please go with your body and not your head. If the idea that you have does not feel good to your body, then now is a time to revise and tweak. And remember that that energy is very present because this lunation is happening right in the middle of retrograde season. So there are many reasons why we might have got it a little wrong or a little off and need to come back and make revisions. Um, you also want to map out action steps for bringing those intentions to life. First, feel into them. Make sure you're comfortable with it. Otherwise, you're doing a fool's errand. And then you want to give yourself some mental space to really notice how and what you're feeling and thinking. Going outside and being in nature is great, especially since we have reached the harvest season. So this is a time for us to marvel at the last bit of green on our trees, the last of summer fruits, and to really take in and drink in the last fruits of summer before she goes. August was a very cosmically tense month and September will also be active. It's also important for us to note that this lunar cycle, so that you have more lunar wisdom, this lunar cycle is a mutable or maven lunar cycle. So all of the major moon points will be in mutable signs. Our Vir Virgo new moon, our Sagittarius first quarter moon, the full moon in Pisces, and last quarter moon in Gemini. That means that emotionally we are going to be experiencing duality. It also means that we can expect changes in our emotional landscape, especially as we're leaving one season and entering into another. This is also a time where we have more ability and facility to speak our emotions because mutable energy represents most of the communicators of the zodiac and the communication forward sign in every element. And so since the moon's four major points will be hitting all of those mutable signs, we ha may have more facility with speaking our emotions and giving truth to them in that way. Just before the moon goes full, Mercury will station retrograde, and Mercury is both the ruler of Virgo and Gemini, both of which are major signs impacting the current lunar cycle. I am a natural born Sagittarius moon. Sagittarian moon people are um, adventurous, philosophical, spiritual, blunt. Um, they can be emotionally lucky, so to speak. So those are some of the qualities that Sagittarius is going to give this first quarter moon in addition to all of the other things I spoke about with the mutability. It's important for you not only to know about where all the major points of the moon are going to be and the moon sign and about the moon phase, but further drilling down, if you really want to get the most out of this and this is how we apply the lunar wisdom formula, then you need to know where Sagittarius is in your chart. 
Sagittarius for me rules my house of partnership. So be that romantic or business, I could potentially expect to have some events show up in that area. This is why I follow the moon because we have now moved from our initiate phase to the where we want to sow the seeds of our future dreams to that certainty phase where it's an ideal time to commit. And I try to check in as often as possible so that when it, we move to full moon, when it's time to release and check out results or reconsider and balance when we get to the last quarter, I know where I'm going. And that's something that you can do as well. The last thing I really wanted to focus on is just, again, a bit more about the Sagittarius first quarter moon, which is coming from Yasmin Boland's Moonology Manifestation Oracle cards. She has a wonderful deck. I love them, and I really think if you are a lover of the moon and want to manifest more, especially in natural ways, this is a must-have. Having said that, the card for first quarter moon in Sagittarius is called Believe in Your Good Luck. It tells us to make sure that we take care of the small stuff so that everything else will fall into place. To take baby steps on the way to our goal and not to take too many risks. But most importantly, to believe in our own good luck without being arrogant and to really think through important decisions carefully before taking action. That's good advice no matter how you slice it. In thinking about how that relates to what we need to do to manifest, this is a really important time to dream and then be prepared to put the work behind it to make your dream real and the mindset that you need to be in is somewhere between getting her done and preventing yourself from going off grid and deciding that you no longer want anything else that's happening in life because you're going to go chase wanderlust and adventure we cannot throw caution to the wind, especially with Sagittarius, Jupiterian influence, which makes you feel expansive and lucky. And sometimes that pans out and sometimes that can create more difficulty. So we want to balance those two. Also noting that the crown chakra is open for us at the top of our head, also known as a thousand uh, petal lotus chakra. And we have the ability, especially with Sagittarius love for philosophy to really download um, information that will help us um, and amuse us probably for years to come. Now is a really time, good time to work with the color purple and to do visualizations around being surrounded in violet light when you need protection or to surround anything that you want to protect yourself from or to transmute energetically in violet light. These things are what will help us to use this very brief 24 hour phase of the moon as an important and pivotal linchpin to allow us to manifest big and reap big when the harvest comes. I hope that this has been an informative and useful video for you. I'd love to assist you in applying the Lunar Wisdom Formula to your life, your scheduling, and any other processes to make best use of the natural cycles and live more in alignment. To do that, the first thing you're gonna need to do is head over to my website and get a copy of your birth chart because you're gonna need to know where all of the zodiac signs are in your natal chart so that you can most accurately 
and completely apply my method in your life. Once you've done that, we can go lunar crazy or become a lunatic because that's really where the word comes from. Lunatic and all of the lunacy all come from the moon because we know that the moon creates emotions. Nonetheless, you can check out my really affordable DIY guide, The Lunar Wisdom Formula, available for immediate download where I take you through the process of applying the new moons, full moons, and any other phase that you would like to your chart so you can understand what the energetic container for your week, month, and year will look like. It's one of the major missing pieces that we all have in our calendar and calendaring processes, especially when we wonder why we plan things and it doesn't feel good. So that's one way we can take a look at things and help you apply this. And I've got, still have all the dates set up, important dates for the remainder of 20. 22 so the heavy lifting is done for you if you would like a higher level of support you can also check out my monthly moon membership called lunate the wisdom circle where i curate a wide variety of things to support you in moon watching and in making the best excuse me making the best of each lunation every two weeks throughout the year. Um, I really appreciate you guys hanging in there and checking out the entirety of this video. It means the world to me. If you have found something of value here, please make sure that you like this video, comment, and subscribe to my channel. It is my passion to bring you practical applications for astrology and moonology because inherent in both of them is lots of wisdom and because life does come with an instruction manual. It's written in the stars. If you want to know any further details about the first quarter moon, head over to my blog. Uh, the link is in the description to read more about the first quarter moon and Sagittarius. And until my next video, wise ones, sending you all so much light and love. Take care.